hair purple. I'm gonna be showing you guys like some of the clothes I got two weeks before school starts. What's up everybody, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. As you guys may know, school is coming up. This is my calendar. I go back to school on the 19th. It is the 6th, two weeks before school starts. And I'm a little ready because I'm a senior, but I'm kind of scared because I'm a senior and that means that I'm an adult soon. Seven months, I'll be a full-fledged adult. And I have to start making decisions on my own. I have to start living on my own. And I'm a little scared. I'm a little freaked out. My anxiety is a little bit up there, but you know what? We're gonna take it down because we're not there yet. For today's video, it's probably gonna be a little bit of a long one because I am going to be doing like a whole school transformation. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys like hauls of clothes that I got, um, getting my hair done, probably getting my nails done. So basically, it's just gonna be like one long vlog of me getting ready for school. And also, this is inspired by Haley Fam and my family. Today is August 6th and I'm gonna be getting my hair done. I'm gonna be dyeing my hair purple. So this is the fit. I throw in these like really ripped boyfriend jeans. I have my Sam Smith shirt on. I like tucked in the front. White scrunchie cause I'm a Visco girl. <laughs> Air Forces. So yeah. Hey, this is Crystal guys. Oh, you're so fancy with your <laughs> camera. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Are we cutting it or you're gonna keep the lights? Can we trim it a little? Just the trim? Yeah. Okay. All right, listen, these pants that I'm wearing absolutely suck. I know you'll see my zipper and it's down, but like, I promise you, I zip my zipper up. These pants just suck and I'm sorry, okay, listen, I, I just don't get it. I really don't. How far up do you want the purple to be? Like, if you, you want it, think it'll look good. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think pretty high, like yeah. here -ish. Yeah. And I mean, it's not gonna be a lot. Yeah, it's It'll gonna be, be like, like yeah. faded. Yeah, that'll be good. Ah! You better stop! Stop! This is my favorite part. Eat this purple. Okay, we just got done washing it out. Now it's time. Cut. Oh my gosh, y'all, I have purple hair. <gasps> wow, I'm so excited right now. Oh, there's somebody right there. I've been wanting to dye my hair purple for like ever. And the fact that it's finally purple, like just, I'm just so happy right now. It's like two days later, it's August 8th, and I'm gonna be showing you guys like some of the clothes I got for school. I didn't really get like enough clothes to do a whole haul, like a separate video, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I got here. I pretty much got all my clothes at Old Navy because I work at Old Navy, I get 50% off, and when I purchased all this stuff, it was tax free weekend. I got this pair of like dark wash jeans, like the bottom's kind of cut out, kind of cool. These are on sale for $10, $9.99. I also got this pair of black ripped jeans. I needed a new pair of black jeans and I wanted them to be ripped. Next two things I got was this black shirt and this white shirt, simple tees. I can fit an extra large in boys, not men, like kid boys, but I just decided to get a plain white tee and a plain black tee because I needed some staple tees because I was running out. The next thing I got, I actually got this in two colors, but one's dirty because I already wore it. It's this like really long gray like cardigan. It has a hood and it has pockets. It goes down to my knees. I'm five, three and a half. I'm really short and it goes like right to my knees. It's so comfortable. I tried on the gray one and I liked it, but I like black. I was like, okay, well, I like the gray one, so I think I'm just gonna get both. So I did. The black one's in my hamper, which is right here. <sighs> oh my gosh. I don't know why. I've been really obsessed with this color lately, but anyways, it's kind of like a blazer, but it's not like crazy, like stiff like a blazer. It's really comfortable, and it's just this nice, you know, jacket. I could imagine wearing this with my black rib jeans 
and like a, the black t-shirt I got with this and then Doc Martens like yes I love winter the last two things out of this bag um, I got two jean jackets first of all I got both of them in mediums I have a jean jacket but it's really tight and I want to be able to like wear sweaters or like long sleeve shirts or something like thicker underneath a jean jacket this one is like a light wash one it has like I guess bleach stains on it I don't know it's kind of distressed like in the back a little bit really comfortable oh my gosh it has an inside pocket I love that I also found this distressed like it's not really dark wash it's like mid well I guess it's dark wash I don't know so I literally got two like good quality jean jackets for the price of like this one so that's why I ended up getting both I think I got this yesterday these two things I got this black like flowy tank top they're actually like super long because I can be able to wear these with leggings or if I'm wearing it with jeans I could like tie it up in the front but I got a black one and then I also got this like bright yellow one there was like a bunch of different colors but this was like the last yellow one and apparently it was on clearance it doesn't say it was on clearance and it wasn't on a clearance rack she rang it up it was like four dollars for this and I was like yes like last week or two weeks ago I think it was last week and we went to TJ Maxx and she basically like gave me a hundred dollars to spend for school this I almost didn't get but I'm happy I did because if you live in Myrtle Beach, um, the weather here is literally bipolar. Like, um, I found this nice like black rain jacket, super long. Again, it's Avalanche. The brand is Avalanche, and at the bottom it literally says Weather Shield. It fits nice, and it was on sale for twenty six dollars. Um, next, I got this like tight fitted black shirt. Then, I mean, I got some other stuff. I'll show you guys what I got. I mainly got stuff that like I needed. For example, I got a new water bottle. I walk into work and I drop my glass water bottle. Great. I got new screen protectors for my phone. It comes with two. I got this cute little planner and I literally was like standing there at the planners like for 10 minutes because I couldn't figure out which one I wanted. But this one like comes with a pen. Um, and I like tiny planners like this just because I don't want something to like take up my whole backpack. I got some new face and eyebrow razors. I lost the one I had, but I needed a new one anyways, but yeah. I don't think if there's anything else that I bought for school. Oh, and I like this because first of all, I've always wanted a Kankin. You know, they're super popular, but I like this one because it's not like super basic. It's kind of abstract kind of unique you know so yeah I got this one it's just the only downside about this is that my MacBook Pro barely fits in it and I want to use my MacBook for school so I might have to go back to this when I came home I made some TikToks listen okay listen to me I was like I was dogging on TikTok for the longest time I was like TikTok's so stupid like it's so cringy yeah, musically blah 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 and then I like made videos, like some dance videos, and literally, I'm non-stop posting. I copied Love Anthony. Y'all, listen, if y'all are on TikTok a lot, Love Anthony, you got my heart. Period. If I get TikTok famous, I mean, I'm so annoying, but for real, y'all can go follow my TikTok. It's just Adelana Casson, like everything else. Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and TikTok are all Alana Casson. If y'all, you know, want to go give me a follow, go ahead. I'll see you the next time I see you, because I really don't know when it is. Ah, rude. Okay, seriously though, like, go follow my TikTok, please. I have the nail salon right now. Hi. Hi. Mommy. Where are you? Um, I'm getting my nails done right now. I think I'm to get you my phone. I'm getting coffee. And you guys are going to get my The nails are done. Um, I'm just going to get my toes painted. Now, I'm not doing gel, but I am just getting them regularly painted. And then we're going to call it just got done with my toes. I'm sitting in the dryer right now, but these are the nails. 
they're like they're super long and they're a little darker than what I wanted. I'm sorry that I suck at YouTube and I didn't bring my camera. I'm not professional at all. There's probably like Snapchat clips somewhere in here because I'm that unprofessional, but oh well. Hello. Today is Friday, August 16th, a couple of days before school starts. So I'm actually just going to be doing like my normal pamper routine. Um, I usually do this whole routine every like Sunday. Welcome to my bathroom. I always start off my pamper routine by doing basic things like taking a shower, shaving, washing my face, brushing my teeth, doing all that stuff. I'm going to do that really fast and I will be right back. Was a popular drink and it still is. I get more props and stunts than Bruce Willis. You guys like my robe? Literally, I haven't worn this in years, but I just found it and it's like perfect for this video. Just really quick, I'm gonna show you guys what I do for like my ears and my earrings. I have this glass cup that I keep under my sink. I fill it up with hot water. I put a few drops of this ear care solution. I add a little bit of sea salt. I usually put rubbing alcohol in it, but we don't have any at the moment. So I'm just going to use some witch hazel. done all the basics. I showered, shaved, ear care, washed my face, brushed my teeth, and flossed. My floss is actually holding up my camera right now, but I did floss. I just didn't show it on camera. This is usually where I'll like put on some type of moisturizer because my face feels a little dry, but I'm actually going to be doing a face mask. English? I'm actually going to be doing a face mask today. I'm going to be using this California charcoal peel off mask. I'm just going to be putting it on my nose. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using Noxzema. This technically isn't a face mask, but at night only, um, after I wash my face, I put this all over my face and I let it sit until it like is completely clear on my face. I really do hope that this works again. So gooey. Ew, I don't like how this feels. Add multiple layers as needed so that the mask is opaque. So I definitely have to add more. It says to apply the mask till it's opaque, but this is... This is not, this is already so thick, like this is going to take forever to dry. So I'm just going to stick with this because I have to say like the worst feeling is like getting stuff underneath your acrylic nails. So that's why I literally just scooped the Noxzema out with the end of the brush. I would use this part of it, but it, it like sucks and it takes forever. I'm putting a lot of Noxzema on my face because... I don't want like the Noxzema to dry and then this like not be done because this I know is going to take forever. I'm going to apply some lotion because I just shaved my legs and you need to moisturize after you shave. This, this is pretty much all dry. Okay, I'm going to go wash this off really fast. Okay. The one thing that drives me crazy about this camera is that every time I'm in front of my good lights, this black line, you can see it right there. But it's like an ongoing thing, like there's one right there. The last thing I have to do for the transformation video is like, shave my face and do my eyebrows. I know that probably sounds weird, like shave your face, like what? I'm just gonna apply my Cetaphil moisturizer. I have this face razor here. I'm just gonna pull up. I'm gonna shave my sideburn up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna pull up on my skin and then just... Ew! Oh my gosh. 
and I'm just gonna shave down like this. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, ew, I'm gonna have to censor that out. That is disgusting. All right, all I have to do is my eyebrows and then we'll, we'll be set for school. I take my spoolie, brush them out, then I take my razor. I have to kind of like get over here on the side so I can see. And then I just like to shave down right into my brow. Doing my eyebrows gives them like such a clean line and I'm in love with it. Okay, so I'm, I, uh, I think I'm done with my back to school transformation. I've pretty much done everything. After like two and a half weeks of me getting ready for school and like preparing mentally and physically, I think I am finally ready for school. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave any video requests down below in the comments. I need them and I appreciate them. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!